Welcome everyone. This was uh this is just the beginning of this video real quick. I uh, I was having trouble with these things flying off on this top corner here as I come around. So I took a piece of the old frame out and trimmed it down and now I'm going to glue it in right here. That should give me the marbles plenty of clearance to go by and not and give them something to crack up against. But uh that was this one over here is starting to, it, I think it is really just a matter of getting the wax to work into the, the function. And, uh, but, so it's, it's starting to work, but it's a slow process. Right there. And, uh, so I'm, I'm thinking this is going to be okay once I get this set in. And where'd my clamp go? <laughs> and I've lost my clamp, so turn it on its side, dump all the marbles off here. <laughs> but let's say I'm I'm gonna let this glue set up and I'll be back and hopefully do a proper demonstration with it fully functioning. Fingers crossed. Alright. So I'll be right back. Okay. The glue is set in here and this I've been doing a little practicing with it and it is it does work to keep the marble from just shooting off the edge i thought i'd found something else that might be causing that but that was that didn't work either but uh while i'm at it with corrections oh you have to pick it up without dumping all my marbles out maybe this piece right here on the very bottom i had put it backwards so it, i was losing marbles here too so that those two things and thirdly <laughs> get back on there uh this piece wait for it to focus there it goes uh this piece here was leaning in a little bit and it was actually blocking the marble from getting loaded into the steps uh so those are the three fixes i did i just sort of straightened this one up a little bit added my stick there and on this one i have found through experimentation if i can get it going again you got to go at a slower pace on it i'll show you here in a second those two get and then this one goes by well it didn't do at that time <laughs> but i've been noticing that sometimes this one it falls down slower so if you're going too fast another marble will get wedged in the wrong place here and throw everything off of course I... I didn't even see where that one came from I'll have to go back and watch the replay <laughs> but I didn't see these this gate did work its way straight so it, it was just a matter of getting the lubrication in there it, you know, it's, I'll take you down here in a second to give you more angles. But let's say you just have to go at a fairly slow, steady pace on this one to make sure all the mechanisms have time to work. It's a different thing for me. And I'll do like I did on the last one where I'll do little shorts of each station over the coming week as I'm doing this. Okay, that's enough of that. I'll show you from a Hopefully better angle here. Be right back. Okay, hopefully this will be, I'll be able to do this. Get a better view of the hopper system working, or I'm not sure what else to call it than the hopper system. A weird angle here for me, sorry. Drop you a little bit lower to see the guts, maybe.
that's it's uh, you know so it's getting I'm getting used to this Let's see I don't know if the back will show any better angles or not I don't I sort of doubt it I'll move you back up a little bit I like these mechanisms. It's interesting. Yeah, I don't know how people can think of stuff like this. It's just amazing to me. <laughs> you know, thinking about this stuff and tying it together and making it all cooperate with each other is really just super impressive to me. The, the, the creativity of the people who can do these things. Let's see. Get a grip on this. There's not much gonna be showing through here. Let me see. Let me scoot you over a little bit more. <laughs> yeah. My arms just aren't long enough to use this camera with this kind of setup. <laughs> but man, I really like I said, like I said earlier, I this. This mechanism is probably my favorite loading mechanism that I've seen so far. And pop one in, hop her over. I think that's very much a cool thing. <laughs> I'd be tempted to use that on all my marble runs if I if I built these. <laughs> but like I said, I'm uh, that's all of that one. I'm gonna dig out the step toys next and get y'all get it tied together that'll be the rest of this video seeing how they work together as a unit it may end up having to drop it down to 1080 for that so that being said let me go grab that and i'll be right back okay here we are with the step toys i believe this one was it's doing its thing and I already lost one. That's not a good start. <laughs> okay. Let's see here. Okay. There's, like I said, that was the step hoist. And here's the tiered hoist that just completed. And it's... I did have to step back down to 1080 to make the, uh, um, get the frame big enough to show. <laughs> but uh, they're both working smoothly most of the time. <laughs> Just gotta remember to pace myself on this one. This one will be, I was having the issues with it. But anyway, so now to combine them, first thing, got to set the, this, okay, hold back here, back here, okay, we want that, where the selector will go freely side to side. Then we got our gears down here, so they're gonna line up. Let's see. Like so, I've got you in upside down. <laughs> okay. So this one. Oh, it, actually that thing's set up where you can spin it, so I <laughs> didn't have to take it out anyway. Now I know. Okay. So, get these reasonably centered I'm gonna end up being about like this am I gonna be able to reach the I think <laughs> now that I've done all that I think I need to do it the other way because this one I think I'm gonna have better access to the, <laughs> the crank for it the other way just the way it's oriented here I think yeah I can reach this easier from this side yeah Okay, so, but 
basically you line your gears up down there at the bottom. Pop this guy on here. Oh, hang on. Got to take off this piece too. I forgot the counterweight for this one. Maybe a little bit further up. Okay. Those together. These guys go together. And let's see that gear. And okay. And we are still running that lightweight issue. And yeah, this one's jiggling around a whole lot. Trying to find something a little that'll fit into that. Mm-hmm. Something a little weight. Anything laying around. I don't think that'll be enough. Mm, not too big. What's like my eh, my wax bowl from my preheater might fit. Gonna take this thing. Take that connecting rod out. I think it might. Nope. Won't fit under easily, but it'll. I think I can get it in there. I don't know if that'll add enough mass to it or not. Actually, looks like. Hang on. Go in here. No, you're gonna interfere if I do that. Okay, well. Anyway, well, I'll just wait it in there. It's on the. Let's see here. <laughs> Yeah, it's just about a two-person operation here, and I'm one person short of that. <laughs> but they do. Okay, get into the rhythm here. Okay, here we go. Getting into it. <laughs> I don't know how I'm ever gonna do this if I'm gonna do the, all four of them. <laughs> I'll have to do that at a later date. I definitely can't get any better angle. Well, I should be able to. I might be able to make one with a better angle here. Let's see. All right, I'm gonna pull up the old tripod and give y'all a side view. I think. All right, so be right back with that. <laughs> Okay, I think this is about as much of it as I can get in frame with my <laughs> constraints of my desk here without dropping my camera. <laughs> I can get, I'm as far back as I can get, and I I'm about as far as I can reach and work the mechanisms. So let's see here. Which way does it go? All right. I'm going to have to make a phone call and get some help in over here if I'm ever going to do all four of these sets together at once. Because <laughs> I think this is a little bit beyond my capabilities. <laughs> yeah, that log jam at the top there. I, I got I got going too fast. <laughs> remember, this is the one the, that this one's the one who sets the pace. I got to go with whatever it allows and this lost one there <laughs> okay oh got yeah getting shoot okay okay Huh. I got one stuck. Okay, I got one stuck in the 
Okay. Let's saw this one stuck in my. <laughs> okay, that's not the one I want. <laughs> Poking stick here. <laughs> so many things to, to watch when you're <laughs> trying to do two at once here. Let's see here. things are and I've, and I've, I'm still this is still an issue up here these getting jammed I don't know it seemed to work sometimes and not work other times so let's, I'm trying to let's see what happens the next cycle or two It worked. Okay. I mean that didn't work. See it's not it's not kill, kicking that switch back. And you in there. You in that one. And that one didn't open that one. See that worked yesterday. <laughs> and I just barely did that, but it didn't Still didn't close it. So that's yeah. That's going to be the end of what the issue is. And it's open now. It's only halfway open. Close. Yeah. yeah. This one. This is my issue right here. I don't. It feels the same. I don't know why that jams. That one's. See, now it doesn't. So, yeah. Well, if you jiggle it around, then, it, <laughs> well, then that one gets stuck. And then, hmm. It's possible my, my workstation here isn't flat. <laughs> but I am impressed how, how well this side's working. I haven't had anything. I had that one come off over this table. But even no jams or anything on it. So it may just be a matter of getting this, you know, a little use in. But, you know, otherwise, it, it seems like it's doing a pretty good job considering the difficulties. I mean, that time they cleared out, but even though this one, this that's supposed to shut that down when that marble hits it, so I don't know why it's not. Because that should just be a matter of straight down there and it doesn't close it all the way it should be doing that for whatever reason it's not falling into the proper channel to make that you know, that possibly these maybe these cat size aren't heavy enough well, uh, okay and that one didn't even fall I may try and find some ball bearings that will be heavier than these See if that makes that function better. They're not that expensive. So that's something worth a try. Uh, but I'll do that before. I'll be buying those before I buy the. Uh, uh, before I combine them into all four, because I do want to make sure they're all working properly before I try and make the big run. But until then, I've got a good project coming up tomorrow. See if I've got it within arm's reach. I do. I'm pretty, I'm pretty excited about this next one. It's a uh, the swinging thing, you know, amusement park series from a uh, rocker. Is this rocker? Yeah, this is rocker. And it's got if it looks anything at all like the pictures and videos on the website, it's going to be a cool build. I'm looking forward to doing that. I think it'll be fun, interesting, and a little bit different. So that's coming up starting tomorrow. 
Thanks for watching, everybody. Like, subscribe, comment, complain, share. Do whatever you want to with all of that. Be good to one another. Stay safe, and I'll see you next time. Bye.